Just tell us a little bit about the uh, the aim of the plate show. The aim? Yes, was the goal. To, um, the Ponas plate show um, it was in its third year running. Um, and we're raising funds for National Arts School um, to support students, staff and um, alumni. Uh, most of the money is raised goes to student prizes um, and FONAS events, so that's great. Um, and the plates here I have. How many of them did you sell? Um, we sold mostly all of them. There are only a couple left unsold and people called the next day and could purchase um, the unsold ones. That's brilliant. What was the highest bid? 4,300. Oh, that's red, fantastic. Reg Mombasa plate. Oh, Reg Mombasa, my dear friend. Yes. That's good. All right, let's have a look at some of the plates. Okay. This is Bernard Ollis's plate. Yes, that's right. It was a live auction plate. The iconic fish, fantastic. Yes in his style of work. He, he's great. He did a bigger plate. Um, he's very lyrical very, and playful in his style. Yeah, it's a very popular plate and um, there was a bit of a bidding war going on. And he's the former director of the National Arts School. Yeah. It's great to have him involved. He was a brilliant director. This is Alan Jones's plate and he's a great supporter of the National Arts School. And he, he comes to many openings at, at NAS, and he really does support for NAS, which is brilliant. It's quite, quite a kooky plate. Thanks. Uh, this is Ian Kiernan's plate from Clean Up Australia. He has done plates in the past. He's really enthusiastic to support the art school. Um, so yeah, it's great. It's got a little boat, which he loves sailing. Um, yeah, and he loves doing plates for us. So that went for a good price too. Lovely.